Hey Valley Middle School kids, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we're going to be learning how to uh, change fractions into decimals. Before we do that, let's get started with our just for fun question, which has a Minnesota connection today. What is the best rock and roll song ever? This would be according to Rolling Stone magazine. All right, let's do this thing. Our official target tonight is 4.5a. I can express fractions as decimals. I did the let's do this thing too early. So on three, one, two, three. Let's do this thing. There we go. Uh, little Ricky Rotten has got the following scores on his math test. Three out of four, 87 out of 100, and 117 out of 130. Which test did he do the best on? Express these fractions as decimals and put them in order from largest to smallest. All right, so when you look at that, you can very quickly know that 3 fourths is 0.75. And 87 one hundredths, that's a pretty easy decimal too, because 87 out of 100 is just 0.87. 117 out of 30, you'd have to do on a calculator, and that would come out to be 0.90. So if we put these in order from largest to smallest, I got them in the wrong order, you would see that this test of 117 out of 30, he actually did the best, because this would be 90%. This would be 87%, and this would be 75%. All right? Let's take a look at the must know vocabulary words for today. All right, we need to know a fraction, which is, should be reviewed. That's a number of quantity that's not completely whole, like a half, and a third, and a fourth. We have to know a decimal. And that's a fraction whose denominator is a multiple of 10, and whose numerator is represented by the digits to the right of the decimal point, like 0 0.1 would be 1 tenth, 0.12 would be 12 hundredths, and 0.122 would be 122 one thousandths. All right? Here's a couple of them that I've switched quickly, going from fraction to decimal. One half is 0.5. 4 sixteenths is a quarter, right? 0.25. And 6 eighths, there's that familiar fraction of 0.75. But how do you make an unfamiliar fraction into a decimal? Hmm. That's my thinker pose. What do you think? All right, what am I wearing? Oh, check it out. Go Royals. All right. There are three ways we can do this. The first way is to use some mental math. This is what my sister calls it, and that's where she's just playing around with numbers in her head. Like, suppose we have the fraction 6 thirtieths, and we need to change that to a decimal. That's our target, fraction as decimal. Well, we could go, well, the GCF is 6, so if I divide them both, I've got like 1 fifth. 1 fifth is like 20%. So be 0.2. I do that sometimes, and I think you can do that with 1 half and 4 eighths, right? You can also use landmarks. It's another mental math thing. 25 uh, 70 fifths. Well, that's like 1 third, right? And I know that 1 third is 33% or 0.33. Okay. Um, another mental gymnastics is sometimes when you have a denominator that would be um, a factor of 100, you can quickly get to 100, like 7 twentieths. Uh, 20 is a factor of 100, so if I take it times 5, I would get to 100, and I can easily take the 7 times 5 to get 35 one hundredths. And then when it's over 100, or 10, or 1,000, you can quickly express it as a decimal too. So mental gymnastics, this works best with common fractions, like 4 eighths that reduces very easily to one half or six eighths, which reduces very easily to three fourths or 0.75. Okay. The next way of doing it is old school, and that's just using division and dividing decimals. So here's a quick review on how that works. Let's say once again we had six thirtieths. Well, that's six divided by thirty, right? Dividend, divisor, quotient. Well, then we ask ourselves the questions. Will 30 go into 6? No, it won't. Would 30 go into 60? Yes, it would go in there. And it would go in there two times. But don't forget, we have a decimal here, and it's, we have to make sure we put that decimal in because it's really not 60 here. It's 6.0, okay? And then quickly, you can find out that your answer then is 0.2, all right? Here's another example. 7 twentieths. Well, set it up. 
7 divided by 20. All right. So does 20 go into 7? No, it doesn't go into 7. Does it go into 7.0? We can think of that as 70. Yes, it does go in there. It goes in there three times. 2 times 3 would be 60. We subtract it out. We have 10 left over. Bring another 0 down. We can do that even though it's not there. And does it 20 go into 100? Yes, it goes in there five times. Again, we have to put that decimal in when we're, when we're doing that. The decimal in the quotient needs to match the decimal here in the dividend. All right? Uh, so that's the old school approach to doing it. But the third way, uh, which is obviously commonly used by tons of people, is just to do it on a calculator. And I'll just grab my calculator here um, because I want to show you, make sure you understand how to enter the numbers correctly. Just like it's written, 6 divided by 20. Remember that most important lesson I told you? I, I divided that wrong. Sorry, guys. I did 6 divided by 20. Let me try that again. 6 divided by 30. And there we get our answer of 0 0.2. But remember at the beginning of the year, I said, remember, the way this is written, that bar means divided by. So numerator divided by denominator. So you read it just like it's written. 6 divided by 30. And that's the way you enter it into the calculator. 7 divided by 20. We should get our same answer that we had before, 0.35. All right, one other thing, and there's always a yeah, but. Yeah, but mixed numbers can sometimes be a little bit challenging for kids. How would you do this one? 2 and 9 70 seconds. The same way. Leave the 2 right where it is and take the 972s or 970 seconds and divide that into the calculator. I lost my calculator somewhere, so let me grab it quick. There we go. 9 divided by 72 equals 0.125. And then you could just put that in. Add it to the whole number. We're still showing the two holes and the fraction is now expressed as a decimal. 2.125. All right, I think we're ready for the ticket to the show. Do you? Let's do this one. 3 and 100 and 3, 34, 136. And let's take this one here and let's add a whole number. Let's see if you remember how to do that with a whole number involved. Okay, so express these fractions as decimals. Okie doke. Let's take a look at the trivia question for the day. What is the best rock and roll song ever? According to Rolling Stone, it's like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. Like a Rolling Stone. Yeah, you didn't need that, did you? No, I didn't think so. However, Bob Dylan was born Robert Zimmerman on May 24, 1941 in Duluth up there, don't you know? Yeah, sure. Uh, he grew up in Hibbing. Actually went to a school with a friend of mine uh, named Patty Richards. She told a story of him performing at the high school and people were like, yeah, this is cool, but this isn't great. Within about five years, the guy was nationally known and considered one of the great rockers of all time. Thanks for listening. Have a good evening.